I'm Trevon Davis. I'm 19 years of age. I enjoy skating and drawing a lot. And I hope in the future to be an animator. I would do flip books and seeing the frames from one to another go like move and actually do stuff was pretty cool, you know. There's nothing that brings me more joy than drawing, you know. I remember when I brought him home from the hospital after he was born. Well, the hospital called and said I had to take him to the clinics um, for checkups like um, every month. I have sickle cell anemia and it's basically instead of my um, red blood cells being shaped like a saucer or a disc, um, they're shaped as if a braid or a croissant or something. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> yep. I uh, interact with my hematologist, Maureen LaCurcy. She's really important to me. Like, she helps me a lot with the things that I need. I mean, she pays a lot of attention to my sickle cell, scrutinizes it, actually. The size and the strength of that red blood cell. Okay. Okay, the bigger the number, right. the less likely the cell will break. Red blood cells, for many purposes, are can be considered as a bag of hemoglobin. It actually binds to the oxygen, and that's how the oxygen is distributed through the body. The hemoglobin inside the red cell, its job to deliver oxygen, it loses the, the oxygen leaves that hemoglobin, and then as the red blood cells pass through the lungs as part of their cycle through the body, the hemoglobin pass, picks up oxygen again. In a sickle cell, what happens is the red cells are fine until the sickle hemoglobin loses its oxygen. The sickle hemoglobin without oxygen gets stiff and may not squish through small blood vessels. So you get all that local inflammation, poor blood flow, then you get swelling and pain and painful crisis. It feels like someone would just like cut open where my shoulder is and then put it like an egg they've been boiling for like years inside and then stitched it back up and then I have to deal with it until it cools down. You know? And it all tracks back to that hemoglobin that loses its fluid component in the red blood cell. And the hemoglobin is a really interesting protein. Every protein is made out of amino acids and those amino acids are responsible for the shape, the sequence, the structure, the function of the proteins. So what happens in sickle cell is only one amino acid is different. Number six out of a long string of amino acids that makes up hemoglobin, but that one different amino acid is really responsible for all of the other problems. When he came to me, I knew that he'd be with me starting at age 17, and in three years he's gonna to go to adult world. And how can I implore or create a change in his life? And the solution really was hydroxyurea. It's a drug that you take once a day. For a large majority of children, it really has changed their lives. It doesn't prevent all the complications that we know of, but the difference is just remarkable. What was life like before hydroxyurea? It was bad, you know. I wouldn't be so active, you know. I wouldn't be, like, conversating with people much. I would be angry, you know, still, so. It almost felt like routine pains, actually. Like every two weeks, every three weeks, I'd get a crisis. I'll be admitted to the hospital when you described hydroxyurea to me, which helped me out. Like, right. But it means less crises. I don't have to go through all that pain as, as much as I used to in the past, you know? He has decided that sickle cell is not running his life. Sickle cell is not who he is. He is Trevon and he is Trevon who is going to do well in the world. That's the message that he has given us. And that's the inspiration that he's given me, that someone as difficult as his life was, he can change his life with the tools. I skate a lot. It helps me cope, you know. That definitely helps me like stay sane and stuff, so I'm cool with that.